All right, legends. Kind of like a sad day today. I was at the flea market and I missed the freaking storage auction. All right, if we could take a look in the distance, you can see nothing but just like cloudy area. Just everything around here is cloudy, cloudy. I'm getting gas right now. But look, you can just see it's just real cloudy. This morning was ridiculous. I'm trying to breathe. It's not that I can't breathe because I very well could breathe, guys. Th these breaths just feel like unhealthy. Experience anything like this? I woke up this morning and what I thought would have been like fog or like um, like like dew from like the nighttime um, was not dew. It was smoke. And this is ridiculous, guys. It's been going on for like a month now. What what happened? Anyways, we are going to visit grandpa legends at the moment we brought some bird feeders some chicken and some bird seeds still in the car thanks to shauna fernandez uh, shout out to shauna fernandez for the awesome contribution of the bird seed and the bird feeders for grandpa Dude, let me see your look jeez let me go tell the nurse Let's hope, let's hope not, Grandpa. You're chomping too hard on these donuts, man. <laughs> You're too excited for the donuts. That's what's going on Can with you. Can you hold this on there? You want to hold it on there? It's the ice pack. Mm. See if that helps. We're going to ice pack you up for a little bit. What happens? Did you see that? Let's see. <laughs> <laughs> You all, all kinds of bullshit. <laughs> they go up and they they go up and they look at you like, yeah, like what know. what is this? What's happening? Yeah, what is this? <laughs> this is what you, did you did you trick us? What is this? Okay, so we just gotta fill them up with bird seed, but this is like a good strategy. Try to get the bird like pretty much as close to the window as possible. They probably. I turn this in there. Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, it was leaning. It was just leaning on the floor. It wasn't being used. Yeah, it was in that in oh, is she saying something? Yeah, I guess I'll just go. I'll go put it back on the floor. Yeah, it was. It was just on the ground, like in the, in the dirt. Yeah. All right. All right. in the dirt on the floor. Yeah, no worries. Yeah, I guess she just she just wants it on the floor. It's fine. I'll, I'll bring one. I'll put your your yeah you're well you're welcome. Jeez. Oh my gosh, don't worry. I'll put it right on the floor. My gosh, crazy. All right, Grandpa, we got in trouble, but it's okay. So here's real good news. Uh, the wife of actually um, Grandpa's roommate is setting up another um, birdhouse as we speak. So that's that's pretty awesome. We got the new episode on for Grandpa. All right, so it's time for you to start talking, buddy. What do you want to talk about? It's an interrogation time. What did you do at the flea market? I bought a bunch of Pokemon cards and, you know, like sealed cards and sealed stuff for, for the subscribers. But I spent too much time there, so I missed the auction. But everything happens for a reason, because guess what? I'm here with you. Tell me this, you love me. 
That used to be a song. Yeah. Tell me something good. Anatomy. Anatomy? Yeah. Back at the hoarder house, we have a crazy room filled with stuff. I think phase like 28,000 is going to be actually taking literally everything out this house so that it can be renovated. So the process of that is going to be quite difficult if we don't do it in a systematic way, meaning getting the furniture, get, you know, committing to getting the furniture out, committing to getting all kind of other things out. Because to be honest, if you don't have a, a buyer, why, why, why move it from one place to another? But at this point, guys, we're going to have to start the renovation process. So all of this stuff is coming out. Oh, wow, legends. What a weird sight. What, a, what an unorthodox, real, weird sight not seeing all the boxes and all the collectibles inside of the hoarder house absolutely incredible and to see this this room empty is just a, a different kind of sight here we completely filled up the whole entire box truck and yeah things are pretty much loaded and ready to go we're gonna be selling these things to you guys we're gonna be selling these things via in person, flea market, Facebook marketplace, wherever you could think of, guys. Think of. But to say the least, the hoarder house is coming together. So, so you know, they stop it. This this is the one that uh, that makes the magic happen. Any all the compliments on the braids, etc. Um, and right now, we're actually going to do one thing that I've never done since I started growing my hair, and that's trimming like the dead parts right is that what we're doing mm -hmm. the dead parts oh my gosh i'm scared guys I'm always high. Uh, always uh, yeah i always got she don't like being in the video but I you know. know look at that with the x's <laughs> we got we got um the female leonardo da vinci on the yeah, on the it. hair <laughs> yeah, one little curl like yeah. <laughs> continued it looks like a huge chunk of my tire is like taken off dude like some like bit it like a giant bit it or something where are you uh wanting to go with it all right she is on the tow truck ladies and gentlemen i have no idea what happened to my tire it literally just popped it was crazy hopefully i got a video of it if i don't just think of a think of a tire like losing air So you might want to, because I think if you catch your cruise in Miami, you don't need a passport to go to all, they, they don't check anything. Okay, stuff. Or make another one of those. Probably make another one of those. I'll have time for well, this no, no. and that. Yeah, yeah, we'll be able to, yeah, we'll be able to get it all done, but like. Just seeing like the magnitude of like every single piece of doll that's being sold. I mean, there's four boxes that fit in that box. All the doll and collectibles. I just decided to sell it all one money. I hope the subscriber is very happy with what she gets. Um, and yeah, guys, this is all going in one box. So you guys know pretty much like what's going on. Oh my gosh, dude, I still need to fix this. I, s I swear it's been like four years. This is nuts. Now, you guys, if anybody in the chat like knows how to fix that, let me know. Anyways, guys, you know the status on the doll unit. I literally bought that unit for what, what seemed to be like $1,500. 
we made about like four to 600 on it. Um, that's not including like shipping and taxes and things like that. And I sold it off for a thousand, uh, uh, including shipping. So with four boxes being how big they are, I'm, I'm estimating around 130 to $200 in shipping costs. So 800 plus 600 would be like 1400. We'll probably end up going a little under on this unit, but that's okay guys, because we did an amazing gesture for another YouTube channel and, um, and it's okay. It's completely fine. Yeah, this is probably going to be one of the craziest uh, garbage days. <clears throat> I mean, there's so many fireworks, it's ridiculous. I am never buying fireworks ever again in my life, ever. So crazy how many different yards we filled up of fireworks. All right, so update. We were gonna go empty the box truck, but we just got a really interesting email. Deanne H that likes uh, toys is actually um, in communication with her brother, which wants all, wait, not, not which, who wants all of the vintage beer cans. Okay, live update of the garage. <laughs> Oh my gosh, guys, this was empty like a week ago. And now it is completely full to the brim. There's a lot of space in the back that hasn't been utilized. I kinda, I don't know how I'm gonna do it, but I gotta get back there actually. I'm gonna try to see if I can get back there. And look at, there's even more Hot Wheels. I wanna get back there and fill it up from the top back, move everything back so that I have more room to put more stuff, guys. We gotta empty the hoarder house. Um, yeah. But, let's go look at these cans. There's so many cans. I know I have two boxes out here set aside. I don't even know what to price these things. There's so many other good ones. But are they good? So basically the ADHD is taking over and I noticed that there's a huge available spot in the back of my garage and the most ideal thing to do is to take all the boxes, put them in the open space to make room for the new load in that box truck back there so we can finally get everything out of the hoarder house so it can be renovated. So far we're making pretty decent progress and it's a lot of fun because we get to see like all the old stuff. Like I forgot about all the feathers that I found all the old rings that I found. We got garbage bags. So yeah, we're gonna definitely try to push everything back. This will probably be one of the heaviest packages, the heaviest four packages I think we've ever sent. That doll load, it was, that's a, can you believe that's a bunch of dolls, Tommy? No. That's a, <laughs> <laughs> so crazy and amazing. I was going through a magazine box all the field and sport magazine boxes. Guys, you won't believe what's inside of every single one of these brown boxes. Now, if we film this already and we know already, forgive me, but I don't remember finding literally all of these hockey cards. These are all Opeachy 1982 hockey cards, guys. This is like Gretzky's second or third year. And they're all sets. And there's like four Gretzkys in this set, guys. There's one. And these sets, I, I, I appraise these sets at easily $200. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, guys. $1,400 worth of cards. And that's if we're not getting the Gretzkys graded. This is a really good box. All right, got about over half the garage, uh, the box truck done. It is, we're getting a little rain, so we want to kind of get everything in order and make sure that we're not letting anything get wet but yeah we have some serious progress we're pulling things back we're making it look better all right guys so we're gonna give diane h's brother a call i'm excited because i didn't think i was gonna have like a market on these cans and i just hope that we can sell them here we go let's see this is a little nuts Wellness, John 
Hey, what's up, John? This is uh, Guapo Legends from Storage Legends. How you doing? Okay. How's everything, man? Good. I was referred to you um, by Deanne. I'm, I think, are you the guy that wants to buy all the um, the beer cans? Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. right away by looking at the tops if they're pull tabs or if they were um what 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 we call flat tops where you had to use a church key you know to open them i probably i would only want to sell the whole lot that's just the type of seller i am because i just have right, no right. use for anything else yeah so there's a bunch of boxes man and yeah i don't know i didn't even know what price i was even going to shoot to you honestly um but yeah i mean i'm pretty sure i don't know if you're caught up but yeah with the quarter house and everything um, I've got so much. I got so many of these uh, these beer cans. They're all very, really? yeah, they're very unique and they're very nice and they're in amazing condition. Um, right. And and I know for sure a, a majority of them are that triangular um, shaped. Older ones, you know. I mean, I, I, I would I'd be interested in buying them all and then probably giving away the, the newer ones because the day when I get my oh man, dude, my that's gonna be dinner. sick, dude. Yeah, it'll be really cool. And I. Then Deer because they're hard to get. Like, they don't go hunt cows anywhere you go shoot a cow, right? So that's why they don't go hunt them because they're hard to get. I mean, the, the deer. So, so. We're talking about. We're. Oh, okay. We're still talking about beer cans, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh. So, so, in my case. Like I said, I look for the old decent percentage of them in your boxes, and you can, you know, if, if 19 of them are pull tabs, and you can go, oh, crap. For 100 percent, man. Thank you very much, man. It was good to meet you on the phone, and I and I'll Bye. get back. I'll go. I'll go ahead and get back. All right, brother. See you, man. All right, buddy. Cheers. I'm pretty sure I showed those cans previously in the episode, so comment below if those are the cans you guys think he's looking for. Guys, check this out. So, here goes another clip. You guys know we're always doing what we can to be the best people we can, the best legends we can, and a very legendary move that I'm going to do today um, to kind of restore the hoarder house inventory. So, you guys remember in the attic, we found all of this really good silverware. And as you can see, they're $1.50 each is what the guy was vending these pieces of silver for. $1.50 each. Ladies and gentlemen, you know what that means, right? If there's 100 pieces in here, this is $150. So, if we go 150, 300, 450, 600, 750, okay? If that is the truth, and there's 100 pieces in each one, this is $750 worth of silverware. And I just, it doesn't seem like it, but like, guys, the totes are completely full to the brim. And that's if we get a dollar fifty each. Needless to say, guys, I gotta say, granted, we can put this on eBay and it eventually sell, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna help out a restaurant, my friend's fellow business. All right, guys, just got done doing a little workout. Brought my buddy along with me. He went ahead and, he went ahead and threw up. He threw up, but that's okay. It's all right. You know, it's okay. But um, yeah, so guys, uh, this is now the time where we're gonna deliver that silverware and restorage the hoarder house love to another business. And uh, yeah. So we just heard that there's something actually crazy going on in the city right now. People are actually rallying downtown City Hall, where I believe, from what I understand, a dog was actually mistakenly shot and killed by a police officer from Lorraine County. So we want to go check out how these people feel and actually get the real story of it. We're right in the heart of Broadway. All right, so we're here at Broadway Mirrors. We're going to deliver the utensils, but just wanted to show it to you one more time. What a beautiful set of silverware and awesome gift for a fellow business. This is going to be amazing. But our attention is now swayed elsewhere. We have to figure out what in the world is going on in downtown Lorraine. Is that raw or what? That's like amazing. Are you ready for it? I need to watch the You don't even you don't even need to like wash the Yeah. It's a community effort. Yeah, this is how we get it done. Yeah, it's how we get it done. Forks, spoons. 
You know what's going on downtown about that dog? Teaspoon. Oh, it's a, a rally. There's oh my rally. gosh, yeah, we're about to go over there. Yeah, I got to figure out what happened. Do you, do you know what happened? Uh, I'm like a, I think, I think the, the officer like, called the dog over and shot at him and his back towards it, shot him forth. I don't know. I didn't really get into the story. Oh my God. We might have to maybe put a clip that was found in the video. You guys check it out right now. I'm gonna put the clip in right now. A disturbing body camera just released a police officer killing a family dog. But the questions remain. Why was the officer called to that area in the first place? And is the officer on leave pending this investigation? The afternoon, you see a family's pet lab mix playfully wag its tail and run over to a Lorraine police officer. The officer points his finger, appearing to shoo it away. Seconds later, a second yellow lab mix named Dixie runs by the same officer. The patrolman quickly appears to pull his gun and opens fire, reportedly shooting at the dog four times. We've frozen the video before the shooting started because it's for the first shot. The dog ran in the street away from the officer who continued to fire. The dog's owner, outraged as the officer tries to defend his actions. Why did you do it? Yeah, I'm get back. It. Okay, your yeah. dog charged me. Get back. You no, all these people seen that. That okay. dog is harmless. Audio that may not have kicked in initially or was possibly removed from the first part of the police body cam makes it difficult to know what happened in the moments leading up to the shooting on Oberlin Avenue in Lorraine. The owners, Melanie and Tammy Kern, say their dog Dixie was loving and harmless. So, what, what a video, right guys? Wow, that's it's almost like hard to watch. That's why I put that thing in there so we don't really get the full extent of the dog actually being shot. Super sad. Um, I, I have to say this, first and foremost, cops are here to serve and protect. We really don't have anything against police officers at all. I'm sure some police officers of this district are probably upset at the actual police officer that actually did it. Right now, let's go see what actually is going on in front of the city hall. So I don't know about you guys, but there's a lot of beeping and I, if I had a car, I think I think I would honestly beep as well. I love dogs. Dogs are, they're just, they're a beautiful companion. I mean, sometimes, man, I just got a soft spot for dogs. I love, I love my dog. I love all my family's dogs. Comment below if you feel the same. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or the cheapest dog. We can offer our condolences, and, and we certainly, certainly do. I've spoken to the family, um, and, and we're trying to be a resource for them as the investigative process rolls out. Without making this, you know, about the police department, we just want to offer our condolences. We want to thank you all for being here. We want to thank you all for being heard, and, uh, and we're here to do this. That, that we'll do it if uh, somebody needs help. Please flag down one of the officers. But please stay safe, and we are listening. And we have heard all of the uh, calls and uh, read all of the emails, and uh, all of that is being taken to heart by Chief McCann. So thank you. Still on leave or anything? I know you talk about the Can't really talk about the investigation. We don't want to make it about us. We really don't. I know that part of it is about us. I understand that. Yeah. But this is not about us. It's about Dixie. Um, and and. With that being said, I don't want to even, open, no offense, I don't want to open the door to the nuts and bolts of this because the focus here should be uh, on Dixie. And again, uh, our thoughts and our prayers on behalf of the entire Lorraine Police Department go out to the Kearns family and to our community that's hurting as well. Uh, we've had quite a bit of emails. Um, I, I think the gentleman, Mr. Mike here, um, had talked about it, it was international. And, and we have, and we certainly heard it. And again, people again. Um, and certainly been active and involved in, in the emails. We try to be constructive. Some of them are not so constructive, as you can imagine. Um, and we understand that as well. It's um, outrage, hurt, uh, anger. But uh, but all of this makes a difference. And we hope that it can make us better in the long run.
So I would like to say one more thing. Us as a community need to work with these guys hand in hand. And whatever we need to do so another incident like this does not happen, whether it's more training, uh, a different weapon to carry on their belt, because a taser wasn't used, maybe a burner. Do you know about the burner? Good suggestion. Yeah. Maybe a burner. Burner instead of a, an actual weapon, you know? Even dogs that are aggressive, there should be a way to handle them without shooting them. Yes, absolutely. Okay. 100%. Pepper spray, that's another one that's come up. I don't know how dogs react to pepper spray, but... You know, I think it's not a they go, they run. They lay down or they run. I've seen it. Well, just us as a community, we need to work with our police. And I don't know, is there a citizen advisory board that can advise the chief, that can advise the, the police department? Um, this is this can be the point of growth. But again, I just want to double down that this is really about the current family. We're, we're here for them. We, as the police, are here for them. We hope to support them and we hope to you know, in any way that we can ease the, ease the sorrow that they're, uh, that they're going through right now. This is about Dixie, um, but, but it certainly does open doors up for some conversations. Thank you, Lieutenant. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Jeff. Oh, so, okay, so, so I got here late. Can you tell me briefly if there's any responsibility? Nothing's been handed down yet, but it's under investigation is what we're told. Okay. So, and then we're international, so there's gonna have to be something done. So, okay, so I feel like it shouldn't have to go international for, for an officer to be held responsible for it. Unfortunately, this officer is the son of the, the Dr. Palmer who runs Lorraine Mercy Hospital. Okay. And Doc Rick is his neighbor. And Doc Rick is his neighbor, okay. Ask questions if you want, I don't care. I want justice for my dog. Thank you, everybody. So let's go. Hopefully we get as many eyes on this as possible. I mean, if you could, I mean, I don't care. I was like, to do it to one. Can I, can I get a break? Have there, has there been any accountability? Or is it just under investigation? It's just under investigation, guys. Okay. Under investigation, that's it. Well, I love all dogs, and I offer my sincere, sincere condolences. I'm Thank so you. sorry. I'm here for you. Thank you. We're going to try to get as many eyes on this as possible. Thank you. That's all love and condolences and just oh community God. grouping together uh, to just offer our support. Okay, thank you. Thank you guys. Thanks everybody. I just want justice for my dog. I mean, you can't bring her back by justice, but I just want justice for Dixie. I want him in jail. I want him locked up. I want his badge taken. I want his gun taken. He has no right to carry a gun. He don't even deserve a dog at this point. Who says if his dog gets out? What's he going to do? Shoot it? It's uncalled for. He could have hurt a child in my neighborhood, guys. There were several neighbors out there trying to assist with it. He couldn't see that. He just took it in his own name to put violence out there. It's uncalled for. I feel for you. I really do. My dog was actually shot. And I, I, I feel for them. I, I mean, everybody knows all dog owners know dogs get out. Yeah. It's one thing if you don't chase them and say screw it, but we went chasing after my dogs. Yeah. And we had them, as everybody can see in the video, we had them except for one under control. And then he, then he yells for my dog. Come on, people. Wow. It's uncalled for. Where's that few second pause gone? Yeah, where's, yeah, why do we take a second to breathe? Exactly. Wow. So, so that that was kind of like a brief of you know, on the owner. I think um, I think this is pretty tragic. I'm kind of speechless a little bit right now because I love dogs. I gotta say this, and if you love dogs as well, I'm sure you understand.
ABC is covering. Who do we have here? Who is? Hi, Jesse from ABC. How, how do you feel about all this? You never get asked questions. I mean, it's a, it's a really tragic incident. Very, very sad. So yeah. We'll see what happens. Yeah. You guys will be the, covering the, the whole body, thing, right? Yeah, the body camera video is pretty nice. cool to watch. So. so they know who to tune into, right? ABC 5. Yes, we'll yeah. be covering it. Thank, thanks for your, thanks for your opinion. Owner's mad for sure. Who who wouldn't blame her? I believe we just interviewed an interviewer and talked to uh, the lady that on five on five ABC. Yeah, and she's like honestly like not used to answering questions. So you could tell yeah. she was kind of like thrown off. I was like, Are you doing a blog? Yeah. Or yeah. I, how do you? We need justice. We need justice. He needs to go. If he doesn't go, we'll be back. Stop. In full force. In full force. Rest easy, baby girl. We love you. Yeah, rest in peace to Dixie. What an awesome dog. We love you, sweetheart. Wow. Did you witness the situation? Oh, I did not. But I saw a little bit. Fortunately, you didn't. A little bit. On the video? And I couldn't watch it. Wow. Yeah, it's you pretty. Go, man. Go, yeah. for posting this for us. I, I just heard about it. I was in the area and I decided to, you know, I felt it was necessary. I love my dog. I wish I still had my dog. And I love all dogs. I think. Right now, my tattoo here for my baby boy. Yeah, my Jacks. Newspaper reporters. Oh, those are the newspaper reporters. What newspaper are you guys from? Uh, Chronicle. Chronicle, great to meet you. Good meet you. You don't really ever have a face when when you do the articles. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> so there you go. It's it's great. I'm Carissa. Great. Carissa, great to meet you, Carissa. Thank you. Carissa's one of my faves. Really? Yeah, she's one of the faves. She's one of the faves. I've been a reporter for uh, five, five years. My dad works at the Chronicle. Oh, yeah. Kevin. Yeah. 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 What's up, man? How you doing? Andrew. Andrew. My daughter. Andrew, help me. We can't that meal under control together. And actually, that was her mama. I'm sorry, guys. It was her mama. And I'm sorry. It's it's amazing. I love the community right now. I mean, I've I've never seen such a turnout. I don't even know half these people. I only know some of these people. Not even. I mean, I don't know this gentleman over here. I don't know any of them hardly. I know some of them, not all of them, very few of them I know. But I want to thank the community for standing by me and the officers that are out here right now. I'm glad they understand they're, here. they're out here. Um, all officers, all cops are not evil, not as hatred as Palmer was. Um, yeah. It'll be a human being or a child or a baby because when he opened fire, there were children around, guys. Take note. He was children. shooting down the road. Yes, he was shooting he down was the shooting road. He was shooting down the road in, 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 uh, to oncoming traffic. You were there? Yeah. Well, he came I've seen out. the video for one, but I was at the premises. I'm her. I'm one of the owners wow. of, of the... They had Those just bullets could have went out. anywhere. They had just gotten out. I was getting ready to go downstairs to help them pick them, pick them, no, get, get them in. And well, my condolences to you as he well. He stops. He stops and feels that he needs to kill my 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 child. He had no right. Guys, well, look so at this. We want this. We want this. We don't want evil. We had we had an officer one time. He started stop shooting and down the road? He opened yes, his he back shot door, the door up and shot allowed down the, the road. let our animal, Look at the video. let our child in his back seat, and he brought them home. Wow. My condolences, brother. Thank you. You have a great day. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. I knew it was coming. I'm sorry. This is good. Hey. I know he keeps going different rounds. <laughs> he's just holding his he's just holding his beat. I gotta say 
I was not there. The opinions in the videos don't lie. You guys form your own opinions and comment below. Rest in peace to a beautiful dog and what a tragic situation. Um, and I wanna hear you guys' opinions. Guys, comment below in the, in the video. Let me know how you guys felt and um, yeah. Dun 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 d